Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely luck. It is Thursday. It is my last working day of my working week. It is also the last working week of the month. Um, a long weekend, like, you know, bank holiday weekend. Um, although it is quite full in my in my diary. So I'm obviously I'm going away tomorrow with Posh Cats. Come back Saturday. And then I'm working on Forest School. We've got maintenance jobs to do so we can reopen the site on uh sunday those of you that are new to the channel my sister-in-law my sister myself and a friend set up a forest school site um in the village it's not completely forest school ethos because it's uh it's kind of a stay in play sessions that we do and also it's not a woodland it's just sort of outdoorsy so we've made it kind of a imaginative risky mucky messy play type area but the site needed some rest over the winter period. It had got very muddy and so um, the grass wasn't growing. It had been well used. So we've just cut it off for a month from being used and we're going in to do some maintenance jobs and then reopening it for the public. So yes, we've got to go and do that on Sunday. And then Monday we are having a family get together, um, which we should have had last weekend for my mum's birthday. And we've put it back to this weekend because last weekend was dire. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to make myself a bit of breakfast and then the kids will be arriving. No, so the chickens are attacking the T-Rex, is that what's happening? No, the, the chickens are attack of, are on the T-Rex's team. Oh, the they're a team. And the T-Rex and the chickens are, are going to eat the dragon. Oh, oh I see. The dragon's over here in the house, breathing fire on everything. Uh, yeah. 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 What's that? You got your pigs and a dog. Right, let's get that plant in there. Need to put some more strips of copper around this. Hopefully that'll stop the slugs getting in. Okay. Now I've got a lot of these. Because I don't think the seeds would grow. And they have. There's far too many in here. These are broccoli plants. Hmm. Roll them out a bit. I'm going to have to separate them again as they get bigger, I think, maybe just, this is totally not the way to do it, but it's totally the way I'm doing it. Hi, Bubby. Um, I just borrowed the spade from the mud kitchen. Do you want to push the mud down for me with your hands? Well, and then you push the mud down. Thank you. Then we'll do lettuce. These ones look a little bit wilty, actually. Probably, oh, they are still wet. They probably need to be spread out. They're probably getting a little bit pot bound. Why pot bound? Pot bound means too many in the pot. Because I planted lots of seeds, thinking some would grow and some would not. Why some would do and some would not? because that tends to be well my seeds weren't doing very well you see so i thought i've got a lot of old seeds which i do have a lot of old seeds but some were growing and some were not so i'm just kind of throwing all this in here and hoping some of these survive which is really not the way to do it but we'll see how it goes won't we and hopefully we'll get some lettuces growing hello bubby Hopefully we'll get some lettuces growing. Yeah. Mummy likes lettuces. Mummy likes lettuces, does she? I like lettuces too. Hi, Bubby. You could use this if you want to make a hole for your for your planting. There you go. And then you can put one of the blocks of seed uh, seedlings in. See if any of it grows. Have a little bit of planting. Are you eating bubbles? He's eating bubbles. Oh, Ozzy's found a ball. 
Yeah, it can do. Does my plants like rainwater? Yes, they do like rainwater, Ethan. They don't like dirty water, no. They don't like the soapy water. They like to have um, fresh rainwater. do is we put the copper tape around here yeah. like this and the slugs and the snails don't like the feel of it. Why not? I don't know. They just they just don't like the feel of copper tape. You just have to make sure the leaves don't touch anything because otherwise they can climb across on the leaves oh. if the leaves are loose. But if I put copper tape on like that might go around a bit more, just to be extra certain. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to your beetroot? Um, my bird did eat them all. The birds ate all your beetroot? Yeah. Oh, well we've just potted up some more beetroot, so we'll have to see what happens with those. Breakfast. I am loving my berries and evaporated milk for breakfast. Ozzy, have you decided all your food needs to be in a truck? Well, if that works, don't tip it up, it'll all fall out. I'm making a cup of tea, Harrison. Thanks. Yummy. Little bit of milk, no sugar for me, please. Mm -hmm, nom, nom, nom. Nice cup of tea. Plane's doing loop the loops again. Oh, didn't want that. You hear the plane? Oh, bird. He nearly bumped into you, didn't he? I think there might be a nest in my tree. Just over there. I keep watching a bird come in and out. Who's that? You're so handsome. You're so handsome. I'm a right old greasy monster so I've put the kids down for a sleep it is 12 o'clock and ideally I wanted to keep them going for another half an hour or so but that's not happened um Harrison was definitely getting grumpy so I put him down he's actually fallen asleep now and Harrison uh, or Ozzy is uh he was starting to get that way um they've all eaten so I feel like right nap time it is um ethan's watching a bit of telly so while ethan watches a bit of telly and the other two nap i'm going to give my hair a wash dry and straighten um and that's one less job i need to do later i have had my usual eggs i'm getting into the habit of having the eggs in the morning lots of fruit um and then i have been having like a decent meal in the evening with lee portion controlled because it's part of the hello fresh thing so we had like a Moroccan lamb yesterday with bulgur wheat, which I know is wheat and what have you. Um, but I've just been more mindful of what I've eaten and I have had much less sugar this week. I even turned down a bar of chocolate that Lee's got in the drawer. I know, right? You might want to mark this one on the calendar as a, you know, one-off thing. But 
I've just got fed up of the pain and I've got fed up of the weight going on. So what I've noticed is I've already dropped about four pounds. I don't think I can see it on me, but I feel less bloated and I've had three amazing nights sleep where I have virtually slept the whole night through. I'm also being more mindful of how much tea I drink and how much tea I drink in the evening. So I've made myself a cup of tea now. I had one cup of tea at about six o'clock, half six this morning. I've drunk water all morning. I've just made another cup of tea. Um, and then that will probably be it until Lee gets home from work. And then I'll make a cup of tea then. Um, so I'm just trying to really limit my sugar, my tea and try and eat better again. Um, but it has made a huge difference again to my body. It has. So, all right, I'm going to go do this hair. Go do this hair. Update on Kenzie's back. Much, 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 much better. Can I show your arms, please, Kenzie Bear? If you must. I must. Do they feel less itchy? They're totally different. They're they don't totally different. To begin with. Okay, but they're definitely better, aren't they? Can I just see the top bit? Virtually gone. Daryl sent me a present. Hope you enjoyed this book. We love her books and watching the family on channel five from Daryl. So it's Daryl and Keith from Camper Van Tales. And they know I like reading and they know I like outdoorsiness. So I'm gonna read that soon. I'm in the middle of another book at the moment, which I'm not really into that much, but I'll show you what it is. You'll have to excuse me. I have got myself in my PJs and I am showered and uh, ready to relax the evening because we've got the big friends get together event thing i think it's about an hour and a half um to watch this evening so i'm really looking forward to that but this is the book i'm currently reading if you go down to the woods by seth c adams i'm not really feeling it when i'm that far into it and i'm not feeling like passionate about picking it up and reading it but at the same time i'm kind of not that uninterested in it that I'm going to stop reading it so I'll keep going and see what happens I was told it was very good by the person that had read it before me so but I know we have different tastes you know what one person likes somebody else might not but maybe I don't know maybe it will get when the when the action starts this is like setting up the background isn't it maybe I'll get more excited about it um, I have just sorted out my waters in the van for going away. I have started to put some food together. I don't need a lot. Apparently I'm being taken out for dinner, so I was told. So I was supposed to be staying on the site. I don't know if I said this. I was supposed to be staying on the site that Posh Cats were staying on, but they have some issues on the site and some flooding and various other things, which means I'm now going to be wild camping. Um... So you probably won't get a vlog from me tomorrow because obviously that will give away exactly where I am. I won't be moving away from the site uh, or the, the town that I'm going to. But if I head off early enough, then I might stop somewhere else that takes my interest. And you might get a mini vlog of things that I see beforehand. But once I get to the town I'm going to, if, if I won't vlog about it and post it up the same night because obviously that's where I am and I have to think about safety as a solo female van person um so yes i won't advertise where i am as such um i think that's it really I think that's all i have to share with you um it's half term so we've got bank holiday monday and then i'm working tuesday wednesday thursday all day with four or five children i think mainly four children um kenzie's got to do lots of practice through half term because he is doing a like a mock exam thing for his food tech so he's decided what dishes he's doing and then he needs to practice making them so that in the time frame so that he can do it really well on the day and have a plan and know what he's doing so we'll do a few dummy runs of the meal plan that he has put together i won't do much cooking will i that'd be lovely um oh and his skin we think this is all down to the pre and the probiotics 
because you can see a huge change and it didn't do anything through the food trials and the exclusion diet it's only been through the pro and prebiotics that we're seeing a difference so it seems better anyway i'm gonna go now thank you very much for watching and i will see you all tomorrow hopefully if not i'll see you the day after